Hey awesome people, welcome to my channel, Adam Barwal, and if it's your first time guys, consider subscribing below. I'll do my best to keep you informed, entertained, inspired, and intrigued with all my YouTube videos. And as you can see in the title of this particular video, this is one of your requests. A lot of you have been asking me why I have not reacted to SB19 for quite a long time, but you know what? It has been a crazy uh, couple of weeks. And right now, yes, we are going to be reacting to SB19's performance of Hanggang Sahuli. And this is apparently a uh, Tagalog and Korean version. Uh, this was uploaded like two or three days ago. And I'm quite excited to watch it. I am an 18. Shout out to all the 18s out there. I've been following them, although I have not reacted to them like regularly. But I am following their YouTube channel and also their Twitter as well so that I'll get updates. With that being said, let's check this out. I will be doing pause reactions as per always so that I'll not forget anything and hopefully to trying to, you know, avoid copyright claims as well. Here we go. I hope you already subscribe, okay? There's town. I love the pastel colors they're wearing, by the way. Except Sajun, let's all wear pastel colors and not tell Sajun our leader. You know what? I just realized that I'm always, uh, Sajun's voice is always very distinctive to me. I would always know almost instantly that it is Sajun's uh, part singing because her, his voice is quite memorable to me. The placement on it and it also has this sort of boy band vibes, if you know what I mean, like early 90s um, music in which boy bands is just like literally ruling over the pop music and his voice has that tone or that quality on it. Very, very solid belt from Stell. His vocal placement and that is just absolutely on point. And uh, earlier we also can with his lower register, sort of the bass sound of the voice, um, just completing the beautiful harmonies. And I just realized that, um, I think yesterday I was scrolling on my Instagram and I saw uh, Ken, because you know, I'm following his Instagram account. And I, just so with his fashionista look and you know what in this particular concept that they are wearing the styling he is just standing out for me well obviously for Sajun though because he is wearing black but Ken has just this sort of mysterious eclectic uh, fashion if you know what I mean right but of course, his voice is just absolutely beautiful, and Stell and yeah, the rest of the the rest of this um, talented young Filipinos. <laughs> control there. Justin is singing in Korean and we are here for it. No 
this little ad libs of Sejin is just absolutely awesome, guys. <laughs> Josh is keeping his own, okay? And I know I have read that there's like some possible critics regarding Josh's like vocal abilities. Now, you have to understand that these uh, five uh, individuals bring something to the table so that it will complete like the musical harmonies as a group. Of course, there's always going to be two or three who has like the extremely um, vocal range, you know, for days and just the technique, the uh, singing talent is just a little bit more than the others. And that's totally fine. So what I'm saying is that Josh is playing an important role to the to complete the harmonies as well. So we should not discredit him or whatever. These boys are just here pretty much setting the standards so high for Philippine pop and we should appreciate them, okay? <laughs> One thing's for sure, they're absolute total live performers. Ian, very, very steady, very, very reliable voice. And they have been training for quite a long time before they have they've been like sort of released as a group commercially. And except for you know, for the fact that some of them have been maybe training a little bit more, these are you know, they are just sort of in equal footing and they deserve all the appreciation and the support guys so yeah <laughs> Very, very resonance from, you know, the resonance vocal quality of Cell is just absolutely beyond. It all comes down to the vocal placement of his cell's voice, to, to be quite honest, except for the fact that he is innately like the skilled with his uh, singing is just beyond already. Um, with Josh, though, I, I believe he has a tendency to sing from here. Not really a lot of support. That is why uh, there are some live performances of them when Josh tends to be straining a little bit, but you know, just a little bit. <laughs> That, ladies and gentlemen, are the kings of Philippine pop. If you are, you know, if you're still not following or if you're still not um, recognized, you know, recognized with SP19, you should check them out. Talents are galore and absolutely um, awesome dancers. Their skills is just 
very very high like i said they've been setting the bar really really high for philippine pop and i know there's been a lot of groups um coming out to like mushrooms for the you know for the past few months or for the past year and i, I really appreciate that sb19 um could be the one sort of who paved the way for these groups to flourish in the philippine pop music industry so with that being said guys thank you so much for watching till the end Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Follow me in all my social media at Adam Burwell. All my contact details are on the, what do you call that? The description box, okay? Stay safe, stay awesome. Have a great midweek ahead, guys. Bye.